My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today is Tuesday, February 1st, and I promised to give an update on the pantry and freezer challenge. I did the pantry and freezer challenge from January 3rd till the until the 31st, and so I just wanted to provide an update for you. So this is our pantry, and I made some progress in the pantry, probably used about maybe 30% of the items um, that were in the pantry. I still have a long ways to go. So I'm just kind of letting you all see what's still in there. It's not organized at all. And then right over here, bottom shelf, I have a lot of pasta. This second shelf, I've got a bunch of like sauces and things like that. I've got some waffle mix. And then I've got all my canned stuff right here. And um, right up here, I have condiments, and then I have a basket full of like seasoning packages and things like that. It's not organized because I feel like there's so much stuff, it's kind of hard to organize and get to stuff. So even though I've made some progress, I've got a ways to go. I've got Howard's cereal up there, we've got canned goods, spaghetti sauce, um, you know, miscellaneous things, chips and et cetera, right up there. So this is what the pantry looks like. Like I said, I've got a long ways to go. So let me show you all the cabinet where I have um, extra food, extra storage. Okay, so here's the cabinet. The other side of the cabinet, I just have dishes and things like that, but I have the food over here. So I have made some progress here. I was able to organize this cabinet a little bit better. Um, so some things are definitely missing from that. I didn't realize how many cookie mixes I have right there on the second shelf. And then definitely went through a lot of these like pastas and things like that. Side dishes, rice, noodles, things. We went through a lot of that um, during the pantry challenge. So let me show you our inside freezer. So I think the freezer, the inside freezer looks pretty good. So this top shelf is pretty cleared out. Um, up here, I just have like cookie dough, sweet treats, things like that. As you can see, I've got some whipped topping. This shelf is all prepared food. So I've got frozen pizzas and um, spring rolls, a lot of Asian food, some individual pizzas, I've got tamales. I've got, I've been working on these. These are little mini corn dogs, um, Trader Joe's stuff, like beef bulgogi, I mean, I'm sorry, not beef bulgogi. It's um, rice with kimchi, so that's pretty good. Like I said, a bunch of Asian stuff because we love Asian food. So that's on the second shelf, prepared food items. And then this third shelf is just meat and leftovers. So right here, leftover pot roast, but then I've got chicken, I've got uh, Costco ready to cook bacon, I've got some frozen shrimp. So it's just meat um, on um, in this shelf. And then this very bottom shelf, it's kind of bread products, I guess. Um, so I've got some pie shells, I've got some um, Hawaiian rolls, I've got some yeast rolls, I've got some, what is that, non mini croissants. And then in this drawer, the first drawer, is just like frozen, um, like peppers and onions, things like that. No actual vegetables per se, like corn, just like onions and peppers and things. And then in the second drawer, I have broccoli, I have corn, green beans, things like that. So these two drawers were so stuffed with things I couldn't even get into them. So we did make some progress here. And that's the alarm on the door. And then in this drawer, I've got cheese that either I didn't get to or um, we opened and ate some and I put it in the freezer before you know, it could go bad. So I've got that in there and then I've got some more cheese. And then down here I have nuts. So almonds, pecans, things like that. So next let's go to the outdoors or the garage freezer. Okay, so we are in our garage freezer now. So let me show you what we've got. I'll start up here on the door of the refrigerator. We've got cookie dough, uh, some mini croissants from Trader Joe's that I love so much and then butter. We actually did go through quite a bit of butter and cookie dough during the challenge. And then I have a bunch of pork sausage and a bunch of ground beef. 
and there's ground beef in this Ziploc bag too. And then more pork sausage on the bottom. So I found all of that pork sausage on sale. It was like $1.99 or something. So I racked up at the time. On the top shelf, I've got poultry. So I've got chicken and I've got turkey in these two baskets. And then at the very bottom, I have some ground pork. In this drawer, I have, whoops, I have more sausage, um, stuff I found on clearance. And then I've got hot dogs in there as well, a couple of pizzas. So there's pizzas there and then pizzas in the very back that I need to get, get through um, from Costco. I bought them a long time ago. And so that's what's in this drawer. This shelf, I've got uh, taco salad shells that I love so much because uh, they're hard to find. So when I find them and when our, my mom finds them, she buys them for me and I freeze them. I've got some bread dough in, in front right here. Those are pork steaks that I froze. Right down here, I've got um, some Costco bacon, some more of those taco salad shells, tempura shrimp, um, chicken spring rolls pizza, pie crust that I got. Um, during, I think probably like November, I guess at Sam's or someplace like that. And I just froze them. And then that's the alarm going off guys. Nothing I can do about that. And then some beef right there. And then some um, French fries. And then mandu, beef mandu that we love. And then this very bottom shelf, we've got some pizzas and we've got pie crust meat lasagna, panko shrimp, all sorts of good stuff. And then in this drawer, I've got a bunch of beef. My parents bought a, I think they bought a half a cow and they gave me some of their meat. So I've got a lot of beef in here. I've got some chicken wings in here. There's some um, um, ham slices down there. And then also some chicken nuggets at the very bottom. So that's, that's all that's in here. Oh, there's a bulldoggy. So that is it for the freezer. So you can see that we have a lot of stuff left. I'm going to continue on with the pantry challenge. If I do see something in the grocery store and it's something that we use and it's on sale, I'll probably go ahead and pick it up. But I'm gonna keep working on this freezer and pantry because we have so much stuff left. So anyway, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.